friends. Um, hello everyone and welcome back. Did you miss me? Did you miss me? Yeah, of course you did. Um, welcome back to the Chaley Show. And on um, this week's episode, we are going to make uh, today. This week, we're having a vegan week because a couple people asking for those recipes. So we are going to make a teriyaki cauliflower ball. And for our drink, we're gonna make something with gin because we've never had gin before. So you know, can't play favorites with liquor. We're just gonna make our way around like the whores that we are. Okay, so you know. Don't forget, for usual, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you know what I forgot to tell you guys? Make sure you turn your notifications on so that when I make a video, you don't miss it. You're the first person to know. All right, thank you a lot. And don't forget to also comment below and let me know what you'd like to see me make next, okay? Thank you. So, you know, per usual, Jaylee Show, 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 Jaylee Show. Hey, Jaylee Show. Alright, so today we're going to make a gin cocktail. We're going to make a gin and blood orange cocktail. So I'm going to start with the bottom of my shaker, per usual. And we are going to hit it with some lime juice. And um, look at this mini little cutting board I bought this week. How cute is that, right? So I feel like everything in the entire world is cuter when it's miniature. So a trick for your limes, if you feel like they're really hard, a trick that I like to do is that I put them in the microwave for about a minute or so and that'll soften them right up for you. And if you want, you just um, wait and let them cool down and then perfect. All the juice will come out with all, all the work. Save you all that work. So I'm going to do two limes today, very limey, because gin is really strong and um, butter orange juice is not natural, I feel like. So we're just going to make sure that we have time enough. Okay, so that should be good. And then we're going to hit it with some um, simple syrup. We're going to hit it with uh, two squirts, three squirts. I like my, I like my drink's kind of sweet. So two, three squirts of simple syrup. And then I'm going to grab my ice. I have my big ice maker today. I almost dropped that. And we're going to put two cubes of ice in there just to help make sure that we have Cool drink and then we're going to take our gin and we are going to add uh, you know one and a half as you know how I measure feeling a little frisky today me and gin don't ever get to flirt so you know me and him we're going to get straight to business today and then we're going to put our shaker perfect and then we have our glass here and what we're gonna do is that we are going to uh, fill it with ice so we're gonna fill it with ice and then I have some look how pretty these are it's blood orange slices that I bought I mean I bought the I so we're gonna see in a second we're gonna use blood orange juice and this is fresh juice that I squeezed and the rest of the oranges that I had left I just squeeze them so we can use them for garnish and they're going to be really pretty. And they're super red. I would recommend, what I didn't do here is to slice them a little bit thinner just to make it easier for yourself. I didn't do that, but it's not that big of a deal. Okay, so you're going to pour your drink. Um, we don't really need a strainer because we didn't add any like thing with juice or anything like that. Anything with like clumps, so we're pretty good on a strainer. So I'm gonna fill it about three quarters of the way. I would actually honestly probably do just a tiny bit more. You know, obviously the more you fill it, the stronger the drink will be. So if you like your drink a little lighter, then you know, do less thing. But I'm looking at the amount of juice that we have, and I feel like I'm gonna add a little bit more. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna fill it to like right there. So for it to be pretty, you wanna make sure you're doing this in the right order. So you wanna make sure that you know for sure what amount you wanna go to. And so before you add in the um, the blood orange, because then it'll, it'll you know it'll get ugly after you mix it. And then we're gonna tap it with that blood orange juice. And then and then and then and then I have my lime, and I didn't cut this piece here, so I'm going to see if I can if it'll allow me to. Uh, yeah, there you go. Take a little lime the best out of there. You know, a little one. And then we're gonna um, pop that 
that just right on top to make it nice and pretty and green. And there you go. There's our drink. Our blood orange gin cocktail. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that such a beautiful color? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, and recommend me to your friends. Please and thank you. Okay, 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 okay. Like, subscribe, like, subscribe, like, subscribe. Thanks so much. I'm not your doctor, but I am here to remind you that soy sauce is very, very high in salt. So when you're seasoning your cauliflower and when you're adding soy sauce as well, you want to keep that in mind that it'll be kind of salty. So therefore, I try to add in the same amount of agave as I do soy sauce to balance out the sweetness and the saltiness. And I also try to make sure that I don't add any extra salt beforehand. Also, they're replacing low sodium soy sauce. I'm sorry, replacing the regular soy sauce with low sodium soy sauce will also help you out a little bit there, okay? Don't like spicy, skim out all this red chili sauce. I like spicy, so I'm gonna add a shit ton of it. Well, I played in my bowl with green spouts with bean sprouts, red cabbage, and a sauteed blend of carrots and broccoli. This recipe is really versatile, so you could also do um, edamame if that's what you like. Uh, green beans would also work. Uh, sauteed regular cabbage, which is a trick for you. If you want a little bit more protein, you can do some sweet potatoes instead, or any other kind of bean if that's what you would prefer. And also, like everything I say, it would be amazing with avocado. Every avocado goes on everything, so I would throw in some avocados in here if you were.